Hi everybody, I'm Kyle. I'm James. And welcome back to another episode of Diamond Dogs Gaming. So today we're playing something a little bit different for you. Um, it is nearly the one year anniversary of... Yeah, I believe. Well, we could use this video. That's kind of like a dual video, like an update video of source. And it can segue into our next series. Yeah, I guess we can do that. So, uh, quite a few things have been happening here at Diamond Dogs Gaming. The first thing is, yes, we'd like to thank you. We hit a milestone. 50 subscribers. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of One subscribers. One, exact. Yeah, 51 at time of recording. Yes. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, like, oh, these guys are just making videos, just, no. Like, we honestly can't thank you enough for letting I mean, us make the videos that we do. Like I said, we just do this to have fun, and, you know, if this reaches out to people to make them want to follow us and like what we do, then, you know, that's that's good. Yeah, like so, like, like... You know, we're just a couple of schmucks down in the basement playing video games, you know? And <laughs> <laughs> how, can you, like how can you take it seriously? But we are grateful for you, and we appreciate it, and we'll keep doing what we do um, as much as we can. I know it's not the easiest for us to all get together and get stuff out, but we do what we can, and yeah, what else can we do? Honestly, like, I it just makes it means so much to me to like come home and like see our videos and people actually watching them. And sure, like you guys might think like, oh, they're just two schmucks doing this. Like, no, I thoroughly and fully enjoy doing what I do because I know that it's entertaining someone out there and I just from the bottom of my heart I just want to say thank you yes if you can get your mind off something and watch does make idiots of ourselves then we'll keep doing that and you know get really meaningful when the time calls for it but yeah I mean um, we'd like to thank you for our 51 subscribers so and you guys the next matter of business is yes Unfortunately, Ad Resident April has come to a close. Yeah. We kind of ran out of time on that one. We got a few good videos out. Ended with, I'd say, a decent bang with Pepsi Man. Um, we do have some unreleased videos, especially the conclusion of the whole spot scenario. The whole spot quadrilogy. Like I said, we could save that for, fuck it, Advert August, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Advertisement <laughs> August. We're back, bitches. <laughs> Right, because, you know, August is not good for anything else, apparently. But, um, you know, those videos, they do exist. We could upload them, but without it actually being the month of April, we wouldn't really know how much sense it would make. Which is a shame, because a few of those videos are good, and they may or may not see the light of day. But, you know, what's up to you guys. If you want to see them, we'll upload them. If not, then, you know, we'll just keep moving forward and bringing out new content. Yeah, there's no sense in dwelling on the past. If it if it keeps you guys up at night thinking, like, oh, I really wish we saw this video, then we'll upload them. But if you guys just want to see us keep current and do what we do best, which is playing video games from the top of the head, then we're just going to keep doing that. And we can circle back to it later, because why not? We'll be better when we play it then. Yeah. And another update is look out for more Last of Us videos. We actually got Aaron back in the studio. Studio? Basement. <laughs> My basement's the studio. My basement's the studio now. Um, <laughs> we got him back and we made a couple videos and uh, things are trucking along again. So We're slowly getting through The Last of Us, but you know what? It, we'll get there. We will. We're not very sure when. Very slowly and very awkwardly will we get there. It's like a dude's first night at prom. We promise there won't be such a long gap between videos with, you know, the summertime coming out and school being out and our jobs being maybe just a little bit more manageable. Eh. We'll see. And, um, like I said, that's our main series. As always, we were kind of taking a break in May. We had a few ideas we shot around for what May could be, but we decided to just make it a month where we were just going through our main series and... Like I said, circling it back to a mini-series to kind of keep you guys engaged. One-shots here and there, and this mini-series, which is actually because of an anniversary that's coming up. Or maybe it already I, passed. I really don't know. I think it already passed. I, regardless, it goes back to one of the first games we ever played on this channel. And, I and know, beat. And beat. The first game we did beat on this channel. I think it's the only game we beat on this channel. <laughs> Unless you're counting, in a way, we kind of beat near. I mean, technically, yeah, te technically we, beat, we, we got an ending in near, so I guess we beat the game. Yeah. But 
We're talking about Don Duck going quackers. Now that was fun. Kyle and I kind of beat that game in one night last summer. We didn't really have anything. You know, we didn't know what to expect from it, and uh, it was really something else. <laughs> and now, as if we didn't learn a lesson, we're back. And this time, we're playing a game from my childhood. Something that I remember like getting on Christmas Day when I was like fucking six or seven. And the game, I still held on to it this, to this day. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about PK Out of the Shadows for the PS2. Now, this game has been sitting on my shelf over there for a while. Years, even. And every time we'd want to do something, of course, I'm kind of walk over and be like, Alright, let's play this. Oh, we never got around to it. And we just keep circling around until we finally just stop there and it's like, you know what? It's time. It's a good milestone. It's a miniseries. He played it a long time ago. I never played it, so it'll be some fresh perspectives for the both of us. And I don't know what to expect. I'm excited. So we hope you enjoyed this small little update as we jump into our next miniseries. So, so th again, thank you guys for sticking around. Thanks for hitting 51 subscribers. And uh, we, we honestly just can't thank you enough for everything. So Of course. Thanks, guys. As always, I'm James. I'm Kyle. And from all of us here at Diamond Dogs Gaming, and not present, we thank you, and let's hop right in. Let's get this shit show started! <laughs> oh, God, Infinity Wars. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> it's Thanos. I don't know how this ties into going crackers, but we'll see. Oh, Jesus. We need to find the soul stone. <laughs> Why is it on Earth? In oh god, Avengers Tower! <laughs> it's in Duckburg! Head <laughs> alley, right over there. <laughs> Oh my god. Donald got a night job? Did Daisy kick him to the curb? What an incredible bitch! After he saved her and going quackers. And meanwhile, back on Thanos' ship. <laughs> We're preparing for an invasion. <laughs> meanwhile, back on Earth in Avengers Tower. Ah, oh, fuck me. What a uh, shitty night guard. Sword needs to be cured. Uh, Thundaga. Thundaga. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> he was trying to sleep. <laughs> what? <laughs> he was just trying to sleep. Why are you bitching him out? Oh fuck. <laughs> Go back to duck tails, you bitches. So he's dreaming? No, that part was the dream. Who the fuck are you? Seriously, I was ready to put the plot so far, though. That suck. Just his head? Sounds like gameplay mechanics. Well, I will admit this has more lore than going crackers did. When I, I mean, yeah. Going. We had to fucking make our own lore. Do you know what you're doing? <gasps> you're always fucking new. Meanwhile, in space, <laughs> Meanwhile, they're back still on, loading up <laughs> on Duck Thanos. Oh God! 
Bros. <laughs> Doc Batman. And they said Infinity Wars is the most ambitious crossover in history. <laughs> I never understood why people say that. Like, have you not seen Smash Brothers? Really, though. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. Not like a P.O. So, is he not just questioning why he's a fucking head in a snot bubble? Don't think too much into it. <laughs> I'm getting my own lore here. Hey. What is a PK? What? Did the old voice actor just quit? I guess he did walk out on this project. He was so done. After seeing Donald naked, he's like, I'm out of this shit. <laughs> Does what we needed. Alright, so now we're just crashing the fucking winter tundra over there. One thing I don't miss about older games is the loading time, so. Like, you have to fucking wait for it to chug along. Oh, nothing could be as bad as Wrath of Cortex. <laughs> You're not wrong. Oh, we used to fall for days. Oh, my. Alright. Bop, bop, bop. Good thing I have unlimited ammo. I think. Yeah, you have unlimited ammo. Alright, so. That's camera. That's aim. Okay. Jump. Fire. You get more abilities <laughs> as the game goes on. So now I just get the basic jump and shoot. Collecting the fuck these are. Look over there, DK. That's Ooh, that an activation text. star. And they form the energy needed to use the teleport stations. Make certain that you collect as many as you can, so we can be sure it will work every time. Nah, you're fucking stuck there. <laughs> oh, looky! Secret! I meant to do that. What is up with that new voice? I guess identities and all that. I mean... Whoa. Alright. So far, it seems like it controls decently enough. It's not like slippery. Now let's practice targeting. Let me create two virtual targets for you to practice on. For you to practice on your sights. What? Did he just repeat himself? To engage the X transformers target okay. block. When you have oh god, targets, I can't even you skip this. Switch target joystick to switch between. Or maybe I can. <laughs> Oh shit, I may need to watch that again. Yeah, you might. No, press R2. I am. Seriously? I think it... Oh, wait, no, that's R2. I was pressing L2. <laughs> I've played games all my life. Doesn't know the difference between L2 and R2. I just don't know the difference between left and right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Good work so far, PK. My sensors indicate... This can't even stand for. Of ...toxic energy coming from the levels below. The Evronians are up to something no good. Who are these Evronians? Uh, My research has discovered that the Evronians are an alien empire that thrive by invading planets all over the galaxy. And their goal is to delay Kingdom Hearts 3 even we'll more. Stop these savage villains. Alright, let's do it! What on earth does PK mean? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. PK stands for the scientific Latin classification Platyrhynchus pinnicus. Translated loosely, it means energized duck. Put the P and the K together and you have PK. Okay, okay! <laughs> Make me proud, PK. Well, I have so many questions. Why was he just stalking Donald on his monitors? Why does he care? Where's that lab coming from? Did Donald not even know that existed? Like. There's a couple questions. Yeah, I mean, there are a couple questions, but we don't think that's too hard about it. Kids don't look into it, that's for sure. But I do, because I appreciate the fine art of storytelling. Get blasted. What is that? Waddle. Look at me strapping over here. Strafing? Strafing, yeah. Strafing. 
shaking? Nah, we strap <laughs> we open We strap this bitch. open this bitch. <laughs> He's fucking dabbing at him. Oh, look at that battle dude. A pelican? <laughs> what the fuck are you, demented toucan Sam? <laughs> From what I know, these alien creatures are what they call cool flames. Cool and flames? The Empire uses cool flames as slaves to oh carry out their God. every request. With those slavery in their hands, I think they are carrying out orders That's to blast nice. anything that moves. Keep your eyes open, BK. So are we supposed to kill them or Yes. Get chomped. I got health for wherever my health is. Uh, the green bar next to BK. Oh no, it's the blue bar. My mistake. I feel like I missed something down here though. Or not. Okay, I'm just going crazy. I guess you're going quackers. Hey. Wee. This look breakable. Nope. Everything in this game looks breakable. It's the art style. Where did you come from? Good. Stay down. Clearly, we need to make a leap of faith. Or. Help? Help. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's. Kind of annoying that you know you have to do this to look around to get a new Together. perspective. But... All right, that didn't work. Right, there has to be something around that I can use. Maybe I need to shoot something. Maybe. Uh, I think you go down again. I can't double jump. Oh wow! Here we go. Power up, maybe? Yep. Your first power up. The ability to jump really far. Now try jumping across to that area over there by using your X Transformers propulsor. Cool. I'll figure it out. You're just gonna give me a long winded explanation anyway. I mean, yes, it's kind of his point. I mean, <laughs> if I can't sit through it, then how can the kids sit through it? What point is it to see the camera again? R1? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, to just kind of like go yeah. to the first person you can go around. I'm just trying to get all that. Why am I? Why is this so? Why are you so bad? Look, it's just like a fucking. What is that? Some kind of weird shield? It's an X Transformer. Laptop. Fucking ass. Maybe I need to start that sooner. Like, as soon as I can. I don't know. Alright. So, clearly this is fucking weird. Maybe I should have listened to that explanation. Oh, me? No, I got this. I must defeat this jump. This so let's see what the prompts do. Yeah, I jump. I go all the way to the edge and then start. Oh, like wow, that. it has to be like super fucking safe. But I'm a completionist, so I want that. Even though I already have the required amount, I needed it. Oh, yeah! Look at that. Wait, what? It just took it away? What the fuck? So when you die, you start there. Wait, so you collect it for checkpoints? Yep. It's kind of fucked. But there's a lot of them, so fuck it. And you only need 15. Oh no, PK. It looks like the Aurelians have captured what some scientists and are holding them hostage. You're going to have to that find them. doesn't even look free them from these Can I shoot you now? You have to save them. No, I want to shoot him. Uh, no, actually pick him up. Why? Is he going to blow up? <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> 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 wow, so fucking upset. 
<laughs> what was I supposed to do with him? <laughs> you literally just take, touch him. Oh, well now I feel bad. Can I restart? Yeah. We'll be right back, folks. No, that doesn't look good. Maybe if I just die. I think he stays there. Hey, can he kill me? I wanna die. Ah, perfect! I'll save you now, buddy. Yeah, I think he stays dead. No. We're kids again? Pretty unforgiving. Yep, he's dead. No. Well, oh, fuck, fuck it. He dead. Yeah, fuck off. With your security system bullshit. I will not let a sacrifice be in vain. Alright, time for some stealth. <laughs> Running straight line. You can't catch me. What are you trying to do? Shoot it. It's broken. Oh, fucking why is it broken? Well, you should, cause you shot at it. Alright, I'm going over here now. Hell yeah. Collectible. Oh, hell. Hurrah! You got nothing on me. You got a scientist on your ass. Oh no, this looks horrendous. Oh, I fuck up. I I thought you were a completionist. Nah, don't worry about that. <laughs> if I was a completionist, I would have tried to save that asshole. I mean, you did. You killed yourself Death for his asshole. Him. Stop trying to be crash. You're not crash. Fuck. Not gonna even hit the, hit the checkpoint? I did. You still Wait, have I'm just back here again? Why? Alright, you're pissing me off, whoever you are. The last The cool ass. flame. So totally cool. This voice, man. I don't know. I'm kind of missing Donald's original screechy voice. Although, although, if this came out in 2002, then you might have been recording Kingdom Hearts. I believe so. She's like, oh yeah, sure. Let's hire anyone. This looks ominous. Let me try it this way. I guess I'll fuck myself. Oh, perfect timing. What do you expect? It's the first level of a kid's game. You expecting boss battles and shit? Yeah. Oh. Oh, so I, they do break. It says another one. What? Is, that, is another boy dying again? You have three of them. Fuck! There's one right there. Wait, what am I doing? I'll save you! Oh wait, that's actually all I need to do? Yeah. And I just let him die? You just watch, you just stared at him and let him die. Oh my god. And you let another one die. Oh, he's fine. What are you doing up here anyway, you piece of shit? Ah! He's cursing me from the grave! I wanna blow myself up. Oh, a very important cutscene is about to occur because it's looking like it's going into some theatrical mo Oh no, just an elevator. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. It's really not that hard. I mean, it's not that- I mean, you say that, but you let three of the fucking just scientists die. Just make sure die. to not let the Melty Boys die. The Melty Boys. <laughs> I am very interested in this game's lore. Where's yeah. Thanos? <laughs> Where is this X or Transformer from? Who gave it to me? Why is it? 
I have a need to put on this gauntlet. I have a need to put on this like gems. Honestly, if you haven't seen Infinity War yet, guys, please do. Do yourself the favor. <laughs> Now, I'm a pro when it comes to this game. <laughs> oh, this is a step up from the last level. We got fans here. But for a 2002 game, it doesn't really look that bad. And, like, it sounds well. Like you can, you there are know. games that came out after this that have been much worse, so let's just say that. Exactly. <coughs> Hummer Pad. Hummer Pad. World Tour. World Tour is its own breed of game. We don't talk about it. Whoa, what the fuck? Well, when did Ratchet and Clank come out? Oh. Same year, I think. No 2? I know Jack and Daxter came out in 01. Crash and Clank and Sly Cooper soon followed. Need to look into that. Curiosity, Pixie. Because I think it was around the same time. Oh, now we got these thick boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same year, November 4th, 2002. So, yeah, same year. Okay. Alright, so I have to get in there. What is that annoying app? It's the scientist that you let kill. Yeah. You... And this game came out exactly one month beforehand. Wow, it was really trying to get itself out there to put Ratchet and Clank. Because they knew what would happen. They knew that. And you don't even get anything from saving them? I think you do at the end of the I game. Gratitude. Well, honestly, this game, like, as a kid, used to, like, was the jam. Hell, I mean, it still kind of holds up today. Like, as an action platformer. Meanwhile, Sly Cooper, the other big one, came out the same year, yeah. September 23rd, 2002. So, which came out first? Jack and Daxter. I mean, Jack and Daxter, then this, then Sly Cooper? No. Jack and Daxter, this. No, no, wait, no. Jack and Daxter, Sly Cooper, this, fashion play. Okay. I mean, know which ones hold up to this day. All of them. Yes, they all hold up. I mean, it's kind of shame that Jack and Daxter isn't really a thing anymore. I mean, excuse me for my yawn. It's been a long day, it's... and it is kind of late over here. Eh, yeah. Now, Jack and Daxter, Naughty Dog. I mean, yeah, Naughty Dog doesn't need to be in charge of it. Here you can use your Iron Fist to Yeah, who technically owns the rights to Iron Jack Fist, Daxter, so. as long as he's not like the Netflix series. Wasn't that bad? No, I mean, I liked it, but... <laughs> in the consensus. So, like I said, like, I'm not saying, like... Let's take Crash and Spyro, right? They did really well with Vicarious Visions, and I think Toy for Bob is going to do a really good job with the Spyro Master. I mean, yeah, they got their input from Naughty Dog and Insomniac, but they didn't need them. I mean, even though the foundation was already there, we haven't seen their efforts in a new Crash and Spyro game. Meanwhile, Jack and Daxter, I don't know who did this, but like, The Lost Frontier, that was kind of garbage. Just ask Gabby next time she's over here. I mean... And... I mean, like I said, like... I think everyone would agree that, like, Naughty Dog just does a good job with it, and they probably want them to be, like, a Jack 4, but that's probably not gonna happen. Well, unless they do an HD collection. They kind of did for the PS3. I mean, if they And they released them all again for the PS4, although not like v Um, Like I said, it's not really going anywhere. We're just with the trilogy, the racing game done by Naughty Dog, which I never played before. Oh, Jack X? Yep. And, uh... That's it for Jack and Daxter. I mean, Bash and Clank's doing really well. 
it had consistency in its sequels, which is good. The latest entry was good, and the film I personally liked, although I can kind of see how it looked like a bunch of cutscenes slapped together. I mean, wasn't that exactly what it was? I mean, in a sense, the game was accompanying the movie, so... And Sly Cooper, that's a really freaking good underrated series. I mean, Thieves in Time I thought was really good. It's kind of a shame that we're not getting anything since then. And there was a movie announced, but because they're bashing Plank, kind of not doing as well as they hoped that was scrapped. And at E3 last year, they said it was going to be turned into a TV series, oh. which we haven't heard anything since. I mean, I'm kind of hoping we hear more next E3 in a month, but... Like it's crazy to think that E3 is already next month. Oh yeah, and it's already going to have a bunch of big, big releases. And it's actually kind of weird that you're talking about E3 and going Cracker series this time last year. And look what... Well, I mean, look, what do we have to look forward to last E3? Um... Like, what were, I... I mean... While it wasn't bad, it, I do agree that it kind of was a bit of a letdown. Um... I mean, going in last year, I mean, I guess people were looking forward to God of War. Well, I mean, that, that was the big one. And that paid we off. We were hoping for um, Last of Us Part Two, but that wasn't likely. You know, we also had Days Gone, we had Spider-Man, and what we did get were those. And we also got, like, the Frozen Miles reveal for Horizon Zero Dawn. But I still haven't played Horizon. But a lot of focus on, like... VR and stuff, which I don't really play too much VR because I don't have it, so I can't really comment on that. And since then, we had quite a few reveals as really making this E3 going to be a big one. Like, since then, we had the reveal of, like, Ghost of Tsushima? Oh, Ghost of Tsushima! Tsushima? Who the fuck is Tsushima? I don't know. Oh, uh, you mean the fucking t car company? <laughs> or not car company, TV company? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy. ghost of the Jujiba. I know what you mean, I don't know how to Forgive pronounce it. Forgive me for my mispronunciation. It, the ghost of that TV... Oh, save the bullet, there's only one. Yeah, because I actually let one die. Mm. In any case, that nice looking samurai game from Sucker Punch, who did Sly Cooper originally, then Infamous, um... PlayStation experience wasn't really much because they didn't have a press conference this last December, which I was kind of disappointed for because I really enjoyed that in 2016, especially with that Last of Us reveal. And uh, we got the first video of Crash at that too, of the gameplay, and that was freaking exciting. And that was the main reason why I bought my PS4. Too yes. bad I still don't have it. <laughs> and, um,. Like I said, they didn't have a confidence, although they did have kind of like a pre-show last year, and they did have a reveal that I'm personally excited for, which is the Mini Folder Master. Which, and, have we heard any news about that since? Oh, don't get me started. I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> we had more details coming soon, and nothing. Last December, up until now, not one single piece of news. We had rumors, rumors that it's going to be Medieval 1 and 2. We had... I guess apparently false uh, rumors that there's going to be a reveal at some convention back in early April with a release date announcement and a pre-ordering in late April, which also never Which came never to. fucking happens. And a lot of, some people think that because of the lukewarm response it got, so they think. I think it got a pretty decent response that they canned it, kind of judged it. But like I said, I don't think they would have revealed it if they, you know... If they didn't believe in it? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, only a few people on Reddit seem to think that, so... That's the they know. I... I'd like for them to include Medieval 1 and 2, but I'm more excited for the first game. I know a lot of people up in arms because they apparently used some stuff from the PSP version, which a lot of people don't like. Oh, Resurrection? Yeah. And, uh, I mean... They said they were going to remake the original game, not the PSP remake, so I have faith in it. And, like I said, going into history, this E3, there's going to be so much. You know, there's rumors that there's going to be a Kingdom Hearts 3 reveal. Finally. At the release date. Even though there's a um, convention in May that has something to do with that. 
Uh, there's gonna be Spider-Man. Spooderman. The Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's probably gonna get shown off. Um. What else is there? There's so much. Shenmue stuff. Eight Three is supposed to be. A lot of people want Death Stranding. We're probably gonna get another Spyro trailer. Hopefully something from Medieval. Um, Detroit Become Human is gonna be out by then, so we're not really gonna see much about that. Uh, Bethesda Ghost. has been. Yeah. Uh, promoting or teasing the new Doom or another Doom game, so I can't wait for that. A lot of people think that there's going to be a new Crash game announced. You think so? Well, there were rumors about that. Okay. I'm hoping for CTR personally. Because we haven't had a good kart racer in quite a while. Oh yeah. Especially one that's not Mario Kart. Yep. You know, Last of Us Part Two. That's a kart racer. Oh no, I'm, I'm just listing more games. No, I'm, I'm saying that is a kart race. Like I said, you know, there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff that's going to happen at E3. I think this is going to be another big one. Well, for Sony at any rate. Xbox is looking that's pretty bare. And I don't even know about Nintendo. I, I didn't even buy a Switch yet. Yet. Um, you know, but like I said, uh, one thing that I know that we wanted to do last year that we didn't get to do is kind of like a video based on our thoughts about E3. <laughs> I forgot about that. And you know, we'll make sure to be on top of that. Yeah, we'll definitely do year. something this year. Um, you know, like I said, you know, this channel doesn't have to be all gaming. I mean, gaming in a sense, where you watch us play games. You know, sometimes <laughs> it's just good to sit around and shoot the shit and talk about shit. Agreed. But enough talk about E3. We'll reserve our judgment for when. E3 happens next month. Until then, um, we'll see more of PK out of the shadows as we get through this game with a huge opening, but little in between so far. But, I'm going to say, what are your thoughts so far on the game? Maybe I'm just seeing through road color glasses, but I still think this game holds up. Um, I mean, you have that prior history with the game. I don't. That's fair. So far... It's not bad. It runs smoothly. The sound's nice. It's not atrocious. It's not atrocious to look at. It's not impossible. Um, like I said, I hope that we do get more kind of gameplay mechanics as we do upgrade. Until now, it's just kind of run, bone. shoot, save the melty boys, <laughs> or let them die, whatever. Or them. let them, or just fucking kill them. But so far, it's not a bad experience. But it's nothing that's really blowing me away so far. That's fair. That's, that's fair. So, as always, I'm James. I'm Kyle. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later.